So, and that also behind the scenes, the brand can customize the target audience. And there's so many layers to that under the Facebook advertisement. And we're specifically, we're talking about Instagram. TikTok has the same. So with those paid advertisements, it's whitelisting. Can you explain what whitelisting is and maybe uh, some things to uh, keep in mind or, or ways that uh, curators can, can take advantage of it? Absolutely. And I can't completely forgot. I have to give a disclaimer. So although I am a lawyer, I'm a licensed attorney. I am not your attorney. This is for educational and informed persons only. If you do need a lawyer, please seek counsel in your local state jurisdiction. So, okay. Got to get that out there because people are like, oh, she's awesome. my lawyer. Yeah. Ooh, it's just, it's just <laughs> well, a content. Like, yeah. it's just a video. I'm not your lawyer. Um, so, yeah, whitelisting is paid advertisement. So what it could look like is on Instagram, I know we see the paid partnership label, right? But it's that sponsorship tab. So essentially, the brand is behind the creator's account putting paid ads behind it. So it looks like the creator is posting it because the benefit for the brand with that is that I'm more likely to click on a post if I see, oh, Cameron posted something, oh, that's my girl versus Neutrogena. I might still po look on there because I do love Neutrogena, but I'm going to be more likely to post it because I relate to that influencer in some way. So, and that also behind the scenes, the brand can customize the target audience. And there's so many layers to that under the Facebook advertisement. And we're specifically, we're talking about Instagram, TikTok has the same. So with those paid advertisements, it's whitelisting. It's just another way of saying paid advertisement. <laughs> Love of it. Course Love it. And, and is that something? Is that something that's like already incorporated into the contract most times, or something that maybe a brand is like, "Hey, this isn't performing well. Let, let's maybe do this." Or how does that work? Yeah. So it varies. Some brands assume that it's automatic because you're working with them. So I like to get clarity if the contract doesn't say because there's a slight difference. So now I've been seeing the term of organic posting, organic reposting, organic ads, organic whitelisting. And I'm like, what's happening there? So they're, think, they're saying if you allow them usage on their page to repost, they then can use some type of paid advertisements if it's on their page, which I can understand that because you're not promoting it through my name. But once we're talking about you putting payment behind my account, where I'm looking like I'm the advertiser, I'm going to have to make sure that it's clear in the contract as far as the duration, and then I can get paid for that. Because 100%. the brand is going to more than likely get more money because they're going to be able to customize their target audience, use my likeness, use my personality, my comp my co copyright and my content, and then they're making hundreds of thousands of dollars, and I just made the deliverable fee, and that's just not going to work. Right. Yeah, yeah. And have, have you seen um, some whitelisting, like – affect that that creator's uh, performance or maybe the relationship in terms of like the algorithm maybe that brand does a, a an interest completely different from that person's uh, audience have you seen that happen multiple times and if so like what do you yes. do in terms of that <laughs> yes and that's why the contract needs to be clear as far as the length of time and never be afraid to ask them what is your what is their ideal target audience and that kind of goes back to what is their goal so once you kind of know a little bit more about what their goals in the beginning, you can get a little bit more clear on maybe the type of audience they're going to be trying to reach. But I've seen and I've had some clients have that complaint with brands where they just started getting a whole bunch of hate comments and they're like, whoa, wait a minute. Like, I just was trying to let you get this little paid advertisement. I didn't know we're going to do this. But even with that, even if it's not in the contract, just reach out to the brand. You have to have that honest and upfront conversation throughout the entire partnership. And more than likely, I haven't seen it where a brand was like, we're still going to post it they'll be able to customize it in a way that, that you can feel more comfortable or at least put them on notice of what's going on and you can work out a different situation for them. Great, great points there. And uh, yeah, it, it's super important to just hammer all of this stuff out before you do any of it and uh, gain, gain clarity <laughs> with all of it because the last thing you want is, you know, a hiccup or, or something that you didn't see. 